from my childhood days, I like kind of creative things. And then after high school, getting to the university, I like to be like a physicist. My hero was Einstein, but uh, I found out it's quite difficult <laughs> to do that because the physics was also quite creative for me. And then I found uh, the architecture, but right after getting to the architectural study, I found out it's quite, of course, it's quite exciting and creative to create the new framework of our understanding of the world or to create new uh, typology, for example, for our living environment. So that kind of, uh, not just making architectures, but to, to, to think about the concept behind our living environment is, is quite exciting. I myself is not following such a specific uh, school of thought, but I'm rather interested in various different thinking, I think. Of course, I was born in Japan, so Japanese traditional thinking is really, really exciting and inspiring. But of course, it's not the only one. But I'm interested in the thinking of the Western culture or Middle Age cultures or ancient cultures, because I just like to see such a diversity. And even from Japanese thinking, if it is not so, how to say, simple. We have many influences and mixtures. So if you think about, how to say, deeper, deeper thinking, then sometimes different cultures are sharing the similar concept behind it, but the appearance is so different. So I, I, I'm just like to enjoy that kind of diversity and unexpected integration of the, of the thinking. The architecture is everywhere. Is like a the starting point was really funny when we just bring some object and then put the scale people on it. And then we can find some architectural spaces or we could imagine some unexpected experiences in that kind of a, how to say, strange daily object. Because normally in our office, we are using the small models to start the concept. And sometimes that kind of a small model has not so clear intentions, just to make it and then put the people and then let's see what it, what it is or something like that. So that kind of a unexpected encounter of the space and the people could be the, the starting point of architecture. But of course, not only that kind of a playful uh, treatment of the, the object and the people, I am thinking about the architecture, which has no so strict definition of the functions, but more like open field, like a serpentine pavilion. It is like a space. But uh, once you are coming in, then you don't see any clear functions, but you can start to play with the spaces. And then the whole inf almost infinite functions could coming out to you or uh, through you, the interaction with the space and yourself. So that kind of a more richness of the experiences could happen by such an open field architecture. So I don't want to define architecture should be like this, but I like the open, the possibilities of architectures. Everything could be architecture when you see some things as an architectural point of view, and then some almost infinite possibilities could happen from, from everywhere and from all over the world. So that is quite, I would say, optimistic thinking of architecture, but at the same time connecting to the really fundamental question of what is the space, what is the interaction of the human body and the spaces, or something like that. The role of architecture is quite simple to create architecture as a, our living environment and comfortable places to provide the field for people to behave as they like. It's really open, could be open field. And in that sense, of course, the architecture is not changed. Time is changing. For example, in my school days, we didn't have iPhone, we didn't have an internet. So 
if we have new lifestyle, then the, what is comfortable or what is, how to say, the relationship of the peoples, then we can propose something new, but at the same time really fundamental. And not just how to say making new, but uh, anchoring to the really fundamental question of what is the life or what is the quality of life of human. But at the same time, the, everything is changing on the surface. So uh, I'm always enjoying or challenging to find out the new framework, including or interrogating the really core or fundamental concept of architecture and then changing surface together.